everybody, and welcome back to the Nerdy Adventures of Dell. I am Dell, and thank you so very much for stopping by my channel today. Thank you! And with all that said, let's get right into the subject matter. This is the very random, very mysterious jar of fate that I use to determine which figure I'm going to unbox. So, every slip of paper in this jar has the name of one figure that needs to be unboxed and it is currently boxed so that's what this jar is going to do. I'm going to open it up like so, set that to the side like so, and then I'm going to talk louder because there's a commercial on the YouTube video that I have my music playing on. Actually I can do this and make it go away. <laughs> Um, yeah, but with all that said, perfect segue into this. The music for today's video is from Free Me NCS Music on YouTube. I just pull up their gaming mixes and listen to it while I unbox. So back to the unboxing. <laughs> I shall mix up the slips of paper inside. Make sure they're nice and jumbled, nice and jumbled, nice and jumbled. And reach in. And this is how my videos go. If you're new, I pulled out. Oops. Ah. Bronson Reed. Okay, Bronson Reed's going to be unboxed today. I shall put the handy dandy tweezing tool back over here. I shall close up the handy. Oh, no, actually, I need the handy dandy tweezing tool. What am I doing? I shall close up the very random mysterious jar of fate, put it over there, and I shall find Bronson Reed, who I don't even have to get up for. He's right here. Except I do need to kind of wipe him off a little bit. He's a little bit dusty. He's been hanging up there for quite a while, which is why I'm happy I got him. So I can let him breathe. This is the Elite Series 90? Bronson Reed that I have to unbox. This is the first figure in the line, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and open them anyways. I'm gonna let, let them be a loose figure. I was tempted to keep them in box and put them in my personal box collection, but why? Just let them breathe. I can do photography. <laughs> Which I need to start getting back into. But anyways, back to the unboxing. Enough of the rambling. I like to open them from the left side. Just my personal preference. Wait. Use the handy dandy teasing tool. Slip it into the side like that. I'm not happy that it ripped the package, but it is what it is. Boy, that tape did not want to split. I'm assuming there's more up here, which is why this corner didn't want to split. Oh, they stepped up their tape game, did Mattel. And I'm going to just slide Bronson pretty hopefully. No, I'm not. It, got, it has more tape to split. Oh, there's also a flap. This is my first time unboxing one of these newer figures. Straight out of the gate, I'm going to say this is going to be a noise warning coming up. And I do also want to make everyone aware that there is a strap in the back holding Bronson Reed into the package. He also comes with two spare hands, one right, one left, I do believe. And they are hands that you can use to hold something, whether it be a steel chair, ladder, table. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my. <laughs> but yeah, it is one right, one left. One right, 
one left. The grip grip hands, considering his other hands are very wide open, like this. So you will undoubtedly need to if you want him to, if you're using him for photography reasons, whether it be a pick fed, stop motion, you know, what have you, you're gonna need the extra hands to grip. Because these ones just won't do it. You have to be very careful with this part. Noise warning once again. It's probably gonna get loud right here. Try to be very careful. I don't want to snap the arm off. I just I try to save these straps for future projects. So I'm trying not to just cut it. I'm trying to unstrap Bronson Reed in the safest way possible. And I think I've done it. So this is one final noise warning. It's going to get pretty loud. All done. <laughs> and like I said, I saved the strap. It is not broken. It is still somewhat usable. And yeah, this is my Elite Series 90 Bronson Reed. Out and breathing. I shall put the blister package it can go down there for the moment <laughs> litter bug grandpa Dallas is stopping a litter bug there it comes grandpa Dell. he has to make an appearance at least once a video <laughs> apparently uh bronson reed I like how he comes with a cloth goods jacket. I wish more companies that make these figures do that more. So maybe Mattel would, would be the ones to do it, I guess. But it's definitely cloth goods. And I'm actually going to take it off of him right now. Reason being is because I'm not going to use it on him. So I might as well keep it for a custom. I'm sure I could sell it if I really wanted to, but I don't. Might use him for, might use it for a custom, and I might use Bronson Reed for stop motion. We shall see. And it does not want to come off of this hand, so I'm probably going to have to, well, no matter what, I have to get it off of this hand, and it's not cooperating. going to cooperate with this hand. This is docking at points. It's not... Oi. <laughs> Anyways, this is Bronson Reed, Elite Series 90. Let me pick up the box for the Read a little bit of info. From Black Forest, South Australia. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 330 pounds. Finisher, the Tsunami. Career Highlights, NXT, North American Champion. This is Elite Series 90. The other figures in the set include Randy Orton, Jay Uso, Mustafa Ali, Big Boss Man, who I think is a chase figure, and then Reckoning. And it says, with the combination of power and agility not seen since Bam Bam Bigelow, the Colossal One pulverizes his opponents with Australian Strong Style. He also has a very intimidating look. At least he's trying to be intimidating. On the side of the box. Set it back down there. Um, he is somewhat poseable. His shoulder joint on the right side does not want to bend. I might have to heat it up first. The right side does, and the left side does not want to bend either. I don't like that. The chest wants to bend. The head is very poseable. Left hip movable. Knee bends nicely. The ankle bends. 
back and forth pretty nicely. You may need some heating. Right leg bends perfectly fine. Knee the same. Yeah. Overall, my only complaint is the shoulders. I don't want to force them because I don't want them to snap. It's a heavy resistance. Um, with that said, I'm happy that the jacket is cloth goods. And uh, this Bronson Reed is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, if I have to give him a rating. Grandpa Dill does the ratings, young master. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Grandpa Dell would probably. Grandpa Dell would rate him. Uh, 6 out of 10 because of the shoulders don't bend right. I'm going to have to do work to get them to heat up and bend right. Don't like it. No bueno. And this jacket is cool. I shall show it off in just a second. If I can stop fumbling with the sleeve. Grandpa Dell can't see. He's blind. No making fun of Grandpa Dell. Anyways, that's enough. I like this cloth goods jacket because it feels nice. It feels like it's good quality and it has that flame and skull look on it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like that. Anyways, that's all. That's enough with that. <laughs> and I can see that the camera is bending. And falling. Hmm. With all that said, and the technical difficulties that I'm going to have to sort out for the next video, take care, peace out, y'all, and have a great day. Bye.